you want to do this? Welcome to Cry of Fear. I've always felt alone. My whole life. For as long as I can remember. I don't know if I like it. Or, or if I'm just used to it. But I do know this. Being lonely does things to you. Feeling shit and bitter and angry all the time just eats away at you. Okay. Well, we need more volume, right? Should be good. Cat has arrived. The true hero of the game. The star. So this is Cry of Fear. This is based on um, the Half-Life 1 engine. The Gold Source Engine, as it was called. Hang on, this should be better. The volume now should be a little bit more even. I mean, I want to keep the volume of the game a little bit loud. So I've heard good things about this. I've never played it before. The problem, you know, with the game is um, the engine is is very old, but this is a modified version of Gold Source, so they managed to make it work, and it definitely looks a little bit better than Half Life One, maybe more than just a little. Again, this is my first time playing this, and I've heard mostly good things, and... <laughs> some people have made fun of it a little bit, but I guess, I guess we'll find out. Traksut. Alright, I hope you enjoyed Cry of Fear. Vinny, how edgy is this going to be? Oh, I don't... I don't know. I've never played it before. I don't know if that's the right word for a horror game. I mean... 
you know, in order for a game to be scary, I think a game has to take itself seriously to some degree. Um, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't think Edge is necessarily a bad thing if it's done well. But I guess we'll see. So I have a camera. Oh. Okay, that's interesting. I hate you, it said. Well, I hate you too. And here I was thinking Gordon Freakman 2 did really cool things with the Half-Life engine. Well, technically, that was the Source engine. But this is the precursor to that. I thought the pinnacle of engine advancement was Gordon Freakman 2. But yeah, try, I mean, try to get into it as much as you can, chat. I know it will be difficult. I know it's probably going to be laughable at times. <laughs> but see if, if it's something that you can get into for, for the Halloween spirit. <laughs> okay, we've got jump scares. All right. All right. At least the face was really well animated. You may find yourself in another part of the world. In a large automobile. No phone credit as usual. Wow, look at that phone. Just in the time it took from the release to now. We don't use phones like that anymore. I mean, we, you can. Some people use them as weapons. <laughs> okay. Padlock. Combination lock. Find a code to the padlock. That's really the, uh, the objective. So someone said, Vinny, why stream this instead of Silent Hill 2? Well, I never had plans of streaming Silent Hill 2 this year. However... However... I'm alive in a year. What is mobile phone? Mo mobile phone button, please. You can change the way you stab. Ah, uh, alien isolation, I'm not really feeling. take on the flashlight. However, switching between this and a weapon is going to be loads of fun. Oh, that's the same thing. Now this phone, this isn't a, this doesn't happen to be a Nokia, which some people have used to um, murder others by throwing it 
at a high velocity. You don't even need a high velocity. The thing is fucking indestructible. You can dual wield. Oh. Cool. Well, now, now we're good. Now we're good. Now, I should explain the reason why I wanted to do this game. For years, people have been requesting this game. I've heard good things, and I just never did it. And the other reason I didn't do it is because I've just had other stuff to do. I guess I wanted to do it this year. Just <laughs> because... Um, it seemed like, why not? It's time. But more so than that, I was kind of feeling some nostalgia for Half-Life 1 recently. And I felt like this might scratch the itch. Um, okay, well I need to figure out a username and password. They Hunger was pretty good. Can't wait for when you get a few hours in and you're frustrated with inventory management. I can't wait for that either. I also can't wait to get lost hopelessly and endlessly. The limitations of these old game engines make for really interesting cities. Where, where streets make no sense, there's dead ends leading to windows and no way around them. Roses are red. Is that a password? Is that a diaper? Dorar PC. Okay. It's one of those games. Seven one four. These are tenuous connections at best. I'm highly suspect. Of how these papers were just scattered about randomly throughout this town square. Padlock. Anthony Bourdain did an episode of um, his show in some place in Greece. Oh, what the fuck was the name of the place? It looked so cool. And the streets actually did look like this. So it's most, you know, apparently this is like a Scandinavian country. It wasn't Athens. Oh well. I'm not gonna remember. It is literally squ Sweden. This is Sweden? Wait, you're gonna tell me Joel lives here? Uh... Alright, so... I'm gonna have to remember these, uh... I'm gonna have to remember this password. Oh, I got this. I got this. It's like, uh... 
it's like something like that. Five six four three. Yeah, right. Well, this is convenient. You get a notebook. Good. I wonder if it's Steve from Blue's Clues that I, pl I am playing as. Look to the right. This dude's reaction time is very slow. my thoughts and experiences here. Oh, it's like Resident Evil. Just so happens to... be on the floor. Okay, I'm gonna need a... I'm gonna need a drink of... liquid. I love that drink of liquid. Let's hope nothing kills me before I come back. I was gonna say, if this game ends with the It's all in your head, Luigi! I'm gonna be pissed. Those are some fucking animations. Those are some animations! I'll tell you what we could do. We could lower the fucking sound effects. Local bald man. Local bald carpenter was killed today, mistaken for a zombie by a mentally deranged young man. Carpenter claims he was on his way to work when the, um,. When the- <laughs> Nah, whatever. You get it. I want to review the footage and find out that the dude was... Was really, really- like, he was just nice. He was just trying to offer a drink to our friend. A drink of liquid. Oh, this is different for Half-Life. The Half-Life ladder scenario has always been fucked. So they had to custom make a different ladder thing. Okay, we got another dude with a hammer. They, they just have hammers. They all have hammers. Also, interesting water for the gold source engine. Freddy? Is that you, Freddy Krueger? Also, I'm getting slightly worried for, um, AVGN. James has been missing for a number of days now. And he keeps releasing these- these cryptic... Uh, videos of him playing some stupid arcade game. Polybius, I think it's called. No, really though, it's- he's been uploading these- these good spoop videos.
Did this... Did this one kill the other one? Zero HP. Brought to you by Coca-Cola. Do I have... Do I have healing? Restores health. Um... Oh, man. So you can become like a... A stim pack, health pack junkie. If you do too much of it. That's not cool. It's a real problem. And it's not to be frowned upon. You know, the character just needs help. Man, I'd kill for Resident Evil 7's dodge button now. Fuck are you? How did you get my number? Yes, lest we not forget this is in fact a Half-Life 1. I look at the text, like, I'm just getting random texts, I'm like, well, who is this? Like, the next text is, I'm trying to get it 8 tonight. Where are you at? Trying to get what 8? This Zussy. Alright, so what is this? Three little kitties playing in the park. Said the first little kitty, let's go home before it gets dark. The first two went on their merry way home. The third started playing all alone. Come here, little child, come to me. The bushes whispered softly. They say curiosity killed the cat. Well, consider me perturbed. Atari. Ever so slightly uncomfortable. No. Oh, you get to kill Babs in this game? It's trash babies, too. Oh, oh, it's like a trash baby alien. That really is a trash bag wrapped up to form some kind of like smelly parka. Well, now we're really in horror territory. Yes, the, the apartment of Frank Reynolds. This is gonna be a fun... This is gonna be a fun time for all of us, isn't it? I can see it now. The, you know, it may as well just be Wolfenstein. 
where BJ and, and the fucking Nazi just stab each other. Just stabby, stab, 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 over and over and over again. And somehow BJ is fine. I can do. I know there's a dodge mechanic. I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. A gun would be real nice, though. Those little kitties are so cute. They look so lovely. I just want to touch them, but then those parents come home. That's why I have to kill them. <laughs> oh. Fuck is this? Really old, can't remember. Third of November. don't have any morphine. I really like this picture. This one's my favorite. Scenes... ...of a broken toilet. Oh, there's the morphine. Should I do it? I'm worried about the adverse side effects. What? This dude, it's like Pike Head. Dude's got like a fucking spear from his ass to his head. It's like Vlad the Impaler shit. Yeah, it's not a good way to go. It's not a good way to go. Worse than the thumbtack nerf dart. Speaking of Star Trek Discovery, really good episode. We're getting a lot of um, character development. The show, it just, it, it, it's so, it's so weird. I hate it, then I like it. And then I like it a lot. It's still kind of edgy, but it's not... It doesn't really have much of a sense of humor. But, I'll take what I can get, and it's not too bad. I, I like the way they're fleshing out the captain. Some really good stuff. With Captain Lorca. And, um... Yeah, I like it. I like the science of this previous um, couple episodes, too. I especially like that one of the characters is now in hippie mode because he entered a mushroom network, man. It's a long story. Uh, I, I'm not even going to try to explain it. Yeah, I'm going backwards.
I can't switch knife modes when I'm dual wielding, right? It was green lit for season two already. Vinny, why bring up things you don't bother explaining? To intrigue the audience. And also not to spoil. And because me trying to explain a mycelia n mushroom network that you have to tap into so that you can go faster than warp speed. Well, that's not exactly my, um... Not exactly my intent. Equip two items in the quick select. Press the two buttons at the same time. You dual wield them. Cool. Thanks. Good info. It's almost warp 10 lizard people, but done in a way that I don't mind too much. Also, there's a good um, piece of Spock backstory that actually adds to the, the character a little bit. You would think they would just throw in Spock or like, you know, baby Spock running around, but no, it's not, not exactly happening. Instead, we're getting Spock's father and we get a little bit of background as to why Spock and his father don't have a good relationship. I, I thought that was pretty appropriate. And, uh, commence me getting lost. The Walking Dead was horrible. What, like, the most recent episodes? Hasn't that been par for the course for the past, like, two years? Okay, so I, I have the fucking key. Would you say Discovery is better or worse than Enterprise? At the moment, I don't want to say. Because I don't know. Door won't budge. I just... We, we have to wait. Wait a couple seasons and see where it goes. But it's, it's definitely off to a stronger start. Despite it not being the trek I wanted. As a show on its own. It's doing pretty good things. But yeah, this is, um, this is kind of lame. I don't- I'm getting lost way too easily. Three. Oh, I went out the window when I shouldn't have. Door won't budge. Maybe I have to go to this one. Come on. Neighbor across. You have to equip the key. No, you can't. You have to use it. Wait, so I have to... What? I can fall? You can fall if you run up the stairs. No. Fucking Smash Brothers brawl with the trip mechanic. Go to the neighbor across from the guy's place. So, like, this is. I, I would imagine where I have to go. Let's see, there's a, a neighbor. No. Uh, hello, neighbor. Hello, neighbor. These doors are all boarded up. Beginning again, door won't budge. Ah, uh, fucking hell, I hate this already. It's downstairs. You know, I know it's my own fault. Like, I'm not debating that it's me getting lost, and it's not the game's fault. I just- I- I hate that I'm lost. It's- it's really, really bumming me out right now, but we'll get there. 
Okay, so neighbor across, the neighbor across. Here I am. I get a text message that says go to the fourth floor, right? So I'm instantly confused. Is this the neighbor across? I don't know where I'm facing anymore. The door is locked. I get it now. I get it now. You know, tomorrow's to come to Scarface. What? Whoa, 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 no, 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 no. What? H how did I get out here because I touched Scarface? The other problem I have is the doors confuse me. Having to go through a loading zone per door and then you don't know which direction you're facing. That's not so great. But I'll have to just adapt. Guy's dressed like Mario. Would that make him one of the Hammer Brothers? There's a clock in this game? Man, at least do a Beretta. the Glock. Looking for it. Looking for it. Is it in the bathroom? Is it in the Scarface room? It's not in any of these rooms. This is gonna be one of those chat feels supo superiority over streamer streams, isn't it? That's why I come here in the first place. At least you admit it. I don't know, I just wasn't looking up at the ceiling. So this is gonna be fun. Um, this isn't like Half-Life Reloading. Vinny, don't worry, it's supposed to be like that. Game is confusing as fuck. Oh, well, thanks. That is good to know. Yeah, contusion. Maybe I should, um... Not use the Glock, or attempt to avoid the Glock. So that I don't waste the ammo. Combine knife with gun and shoot. That's a pretty good idea.
So did you guys see any other locked doors? Vinny, I quit this game years ago because I couldn't figure out where the fuck to go. I wish you good luck. Can we just go back to Gordon Freakman? I really need to know what happens to Kleiner. Alright, so... We're gonna go up. Um, to the next floor. Alright, we're gonna go to floor three. Door won't budged. Will not budged. Do you think the door budgets? Good. Well, yep. Right, we're in a hallway again. And I am... looking for a locked door. Are you a locked door? There it is. Remember, the one downstairs- oh, babies. Amazing. Uh, yeah. Look at that wrist. That wrist is looking mighty tasty. So I'm gonna click every door and take mental notes of which ones are locked and which ones won't budge. Let me throw the gun. Allow me to throw the gun at my enemy. Five, six, four, three. Yeah, right. Budge. Okay. <laughs> Lots of Coca Cola. I don't know if there was a sponsorship, but I wouldn't be surprised. Okay. Look everywhere. Pots. Pot and coke. Wait a minute. I'm on the starting floor again. Good. I went backwards, you're right. I did. That's good. Okay. So then this is the next floor down. Right, this is two. Um, this is... okay. What if I go down this way? Budge. Is this where I entered? Oh no, 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 there's babies. This is new. Maybe the game will finally do me a scare. Please get me out of this place. Please budge. Okay, so we've got another locked door here. 
You know what that means. Remember it. Take mental notes. So that when I fuck up, you can... You can make up for it. Vinny, what scares you besides that one slender clown? Um, slender clown is pretty scary. Um... I don't know, wide clowns are pretty scary too. I think the slender thing... is really creepy, like tall, thin. But short, wide. Like, wide boy from... my Tony Hawk stream yesterday. I think it's underratedly scary. And should be commended. And honestly, I just think it's, you know, it's not fair to the wide community. What, they can't be as scary? I don't actually have a fear of clowns. No. I just thought they were dreadfully stupid when I was a kid. As I need to kill some kitties, I stuck the elevator in the hall so only the personnel can access it by a secret code. I guess no kitty will find that out, so they will just have to take the stairs. First note, maybe? So, three, one, two, three. If, listen, if the code is three, one, two, three, I'm gonna be really disappointed in this game. Alright, good, good. Good. Thank God for that. Alright, so there's, um, I I've been in that hallway a thousand times. This one won't budge. Let's go here. I think I've been here a bunch too, right? The bottom hallway, you skipped the door. How the fuck? Am I supposed to keep track of all these doors, man? Too many doors. Actually, it's more that some of the doors are plastered. Some of them are locked. And I just missed it. That's it. Simple as that. Just missed the door. This is truly a cry for help. Here on Cry of Fear.
Can I just play Polybius instead? Or you can actually- <laughs> you can actually pick up the costume. Uh, this room has not actually revealed any secrets. Oh, the elevator is on this floor. This one was a good one. Very nice to kill. Easy to cut with my knife, like to cut food. In here. I'm beginning to think that these notes aren't fiction. The holy mountain horizontally. Jump, motherfucker! Now you gotta jump. It's raggedy endless looking ass motherfucker. Jesus. I keep pressing the wrong button. I want I don't want to press the escape button. Is that is that a needle? No, that's a pen. Okay. Well, I've got a couple more magazines. The chat wanted me to say be gone thought when I killed her. Jeez. Jeez. <sighs> you have placed the rope. <laughs> Over here. That's a little terrifying. But- but who's putting these magazines all over the place? I want to know what kind of private citizens live in these apartments that they have fucking Glock magazines scattered about their living space. Then again, the bigger question would be why is there a living doll? also scattered about their living space.
the morphine worries you more. Well, this is the future site of Observer. So, how many times have I gone through this door? Really proud of myself. Really, really proud of myself. I keep thinking it's a new door. For some reason, when I exit a door, my brain is inclined to believe that I'm facing the door I've just exited. And it's true that streaming makes you stupider. Try it. I implore. I implore all of you. Please try it. Alright, so we gotta go to the basement. Um, nah. Just, just... Just fuck me up, fam. Is that the expression? Is that the phrase? Oh, that's, pr that's pretty cool. It's time to get addicted to morphine. It's time to get addicted to crack. This is crack. Rock, pure rock cocaine. My name is Pee Wee Herman. You can tell it's pure because there's no inconsistencies in the rock. The best way for you to enjoy pure rock crack cocaine is to heat it up on a spoon first. This is a PSA brought to you by drug expert Pee Wee Harmon. Michael Myers. Man, you haven't been any in any good movies recently. It's totally blocked up. Basement. Basement. The basement is filled with water. Well, this is basement-y. Maybe.
Balls! Oh, you can use the gun and the phone together. That's nice. I like the dual wield system in this game. Gun, phone, fuck, knife. Oh, were you just referencing Pokemon Vietnam? Huge ball bag fuck. Kills your aim when you dual wield. Then I'll, uh, I'll be extra careful. Try not to waste the volcano bake meat. See, now I'm kind of getting into the, the groove of the game a little bit. I'm starting to navigate a little bit better. I'm understanding how to use keys. I'm enjoying it. Somewhat. Oh, hello. Hi. Hello, hi. What is this? Tap mouse one to resist suicidal influence. Holy shit, that's heavy. I don't think I've ever seen another game have a, uh, <laughs> one of those scary Japanese girls in a white gown. Influence me to do something like that. Oh my God. Press mouse one. Is that all it takes? Just tapping the mouse one button? Why do you think she's Japanese? They're in Sweden. I don't know, maybe like an import? Like the Ring movie? Glad I came back here. Missed some ammo. I mean, they're in almost every game that, it, you know, there was the scary, the scary girl in Resident Evil. There was the scary girl in Gaki Notsukai, haunted Matsumoto Hotel the other night. There's scary child in white gown in Spooky's House of Jump Scares. Dead? Nice glitch. I think a, a glitch ended up becoming a scare.
going from Resident Evil 7 to this. It's kind of weird, the similarities. Oh, yes. I'll allow me to run back in into a circle. Sorry, just like I sing a little tune to myself when I get nervous. Get to a VHS player. Well, that's easier said than done. Uh, Dost anyone remember there being a VHS player? That noose could maybe fit my arms. Definitely not Thad's arms from the classic known as uh, Tony Hawk. It's in one of these apartments. In the room where you got the neighbor's key. Oh man, I'm I'm really having I'm really I'm really striking a thousand on these doors. Kinda wish we never had to come back here. doesn't really sound like you're having much fun. Well, maybe my fun should come at the expense of a great ambient horror game. Maybe it's okay for me to have a little less fun so that we can enjoy a spoop. But I mean, I'm just getting lost. That's the problem. Like, man, I don't- I don't remember where the fucking VHS player was. The- the VCR? VHS player. What floor? What floor is it on? <laughs> Looks like a VHS. No? Then what- what is this? Oh, it's DVD. Doofta. What a fool I am. It's like the lady who tries to sell me DVDs. The lady who tries to sell me DVDs outside the Chinese food place. DVD five dollar? DVD five dollar. And then they're all really terrible, like, torrents of... ...off-camera footage. But just the poster is, you know, photoshopped a little bit, so it looks like a DVD case. 
and print it out on the wrong paper. It's on the second floor. So then we will go to the second floor. Floor two. Today we're going to crush the Dufta. This, this is the second floor. This here is the second floor. And I've been through this section already. And I'm officially ready to punch a clown in the face. Officially. That's... Well, I'm stuck up here. Better be fucking worth it. Oh, oh, I wasn't supposed to laugh at that. <laughs> One, seven, seven, nine. How convenient of him to have the elevator combination gouged into his chest. Sloop John B. My grandfather and me. What was it? 1779. Independence was afoot. Seven 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 In true horror-related news, apparently Michael Bay is developing a Dora the Explorer movie. <laughs> and also, Twitch now has crates, so you can unlock temporary emotes if you spend uh, the appropriate amount of bits. It's a scary month so far. This is where the Blood Bagel album is manufactured. It 
This looks more like a fist factory. Sure. The fist factory is where the blood bagel is produced. It's like how the Beatles named Abbey Road after the street the studio was on. You know, they, they just named the album after the studio that they've been recording in. So we name Fist Factory after the factory. Oh, we're in mastering phase now. It's finally happening. Oh, come on. No, no, come on. Oh, come on! Sawyer. Saw, Sawyer? Sawyer. Nice back wart. Knife versus chainsaw. I'll be fine. I have this under control! Oh, that's insta-death. Sick apartments. Protect the fucking force. There's no skip cutscene, right? Nope. the gun on its own though so I, I can combine knife and gun but then I have to reload gun Of course I'm gonna do shave and a haircut. Switch faster. Pokey! Dude eats a lot of fucking ammo, I, but I wasn't gonna risk it. Oh, <laughs> couldn't we have started the fight like that? Well, I'm proud of my character for not passing out before the head cut. Who's that? Relax. I'm 
It's Rev Scarecrow. Who are you then? I'm Psycho Mantis! See you like Castlevania. I don't know if you're real, but if you are, you are an asshole. I thought this was a mole rat. It's just a body. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I already can predict the ending. Throughout your journey, you did so much morphine that you have to get treatment for it. And that's it, you just get treatment and then you're released and, and you're good to go. And you learned a valuable lesson about addiction and your own destructive per personal behavior and all the um, repetition compulsion that makes up your daily life. And how boredom can sometimes lean, le uh, lead to an overabundance of morphine use. That's why it's good to stay busy. Aim the gum. Oh. Little mouse. Okay. Okay, you end the game. You are the doctor. I was the doctor the whole time in the gas mask, but I was just seeing myself from the future because I did too much morphine. Can't do no, uh, shaving a haircut on these dudes. Won't risk it. Articles for the modern man. Most of it is too dirty to make out. It seems to be an article about depression. I told you! Don't delay. Call 543-214 today. Good. What the fuck are you talking about? I need help, please! God damn it! Help me! Oh. Well, if you need help with your depression, you call up and you get more depressed. 
Or at the very least, you realize it's not as bad as that. 911 calling the cops on this guy. Holy shit, that sounds like my Sunday stream yesterday. There's a weapon over here. Looks like there's bacon. But no weapon. That's a nightstick. It is better than the knife. Drop the knife. I, 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 I said I want the knife. <laughs> oh, there's that classic Half-Life reverb. More maze-like corridors? Sign me the fuck up. <laughs> Combine knife and baton. No way, you can do that? can't do that. No, you can't do that. Oh, fuck. Didn't your head come off? His head came off. I have a feeling I missed some items, but I don't even- I don't even care. Skull fell off. Carl, what are you talking about? His skull came off. He was combing his head and his skull fell out. They're like <laughs> they're like man frogs. now. You thought you were clever. You thought you had it all figured out. But now you're stuck and you can't climb a slight step. A, you're just adult babs. Oh fuck, I took damage.
You thought she was tough. What kind of doctor holds <laughs> there? Like, how do I get an appointment at this doctor? This is if you don't have any health care and you want to still see a doctor, you come to the sewer doctor. Some say he can enlarge your penis. You want penis enlargement operation? Come to my doctor's office, comrade. I can en enlarge your penis by six inches, or your money back guaranteed. That's amazing. Where's your office? It's in the sewer. <laughs> how, do I, how do I know you're telling the truth? What do you do? What is the operation? Well, I put uh, six inches of a baton, and then sew the flesh over it. Wow. That'll total seven inches. I don't, I don't understand. My character just stopped. <laughs> Vinny, you talk about male genitalia a lot. Dude, there's a clown... ...that sells penis enlargement pills in a sewer. Alright, maybe go talk to him. Cause he's- he's the one who's bringing this up. I'm just echoing the sentiment. sewer I was in. I think I was in that sewer. No stamina. Something- something is wrong with my stamina. I think the game is glitched. Oh wait, no it's not. It's just when you run out, you just stay out. I should have gone to the uh, the sewer doctor for ba for baton enlargement. Okay, back here. At least that was quick.
Okay, this time I would like very much to grab onto the ladder. God, that was very disorienting. I read that as boner. I'm an adult. You're right. Whoever said that. Was it Hollywood you said that earlier? About the male genitalia? Yeah. Totally. <sighs> I missed ammo. Where was the ammo? Was it up here? Next to the save? Really? I didn't see it twice? Oh wow, yeah. Well, there it is. I really appreciate the crotch light. Even though you don't have a flashlight, you still get a little bit on the ground. Just kind of emanates. A lot of depressed New Yorkers over the weekend. Everyone's pissed about the fucking janky Yankees not getting into the World Series. I, I don't think I would have really been too invested. I'm not a huge baseball person, but kind of upsets me that other people are upset about it. Well, yeah, of course you're glad about it. Everyone outside of New York hates the Yankees. But yeah, it's, it's really... It's, um... It's a huge mood changer. People were extra shitty yesterday. And today. Jeff, welcome to the team. I'm sure your supervisor has already, gone, has already gone over the basics. Here's a few things you'll want to know. The cave is wet, cold, and filled with puddles. Watch your step. Cigarette breaks every two hours, most important. And three, supervisor is a dick. Remember the code to section D. You're going to be going back and forth all day, so you'll need to memorize it. The code is 279. Last number is covered in ink. Can't read it. Two, seven, nine. I'm gonna just guess six. No, two, seven, nine, two. How about two, seven, nine, four? How about two, seven, nine, eight? How about two, seven, nine, nine? I'm officially a hacker now, guys. I, I, I guess the key code.
I thought that hollow thudding was the sound of my baton against his skull. Nirvana jokes. Don't do that. That was a human being. Remember, it's not okay to call him Kurt Gobang. You want to talk about an event that fucked up thousands upon thousands of people when it happened. That was not a very fun time for people. Like, I, I don't think there's a lot of people here that were around. Not to be dismissive, but I don't think there were a lot of people here that were around during the Nirvana hype shit. What? what? Enemies? Oh, I can't look at my inventory. I mean, music today gets big, but Nirvana was like Beatles level for a little while. There was no escaping it. It changed music for a little while, too. For better or worse, but it did kill a lot of those fucking goofy hair metal bands. I say I joke and I like hair metal, but it's kind of just an ironic like. Um, but I'm just saying, even like the biggest music stars, I'm not trashing today's music, even though I probably would love to have a go at it from time to time. But you couldn't escape it. It was fucking everywhere. There was uh, suddenly stores were selling flannel that had never sold flannel ever. Everywhere. I remember my school did this thing, my uh, grade school did this thing where you'd walk around a park and they would raise money for some, for some charity thing. And, um, they were playing Nirvana and Pearl Jam and like this this really dark grunge music. Just, you know, five year olds, ten year olds, everything in between. And it was just there on the loudspeaker in this giant park. It's like, wow, this is <laughs> is this appropriate? Pearl Jam was only grunge for like two albums, that's true, yeah. I kinda of don't like a lot of their later stuff though. Oh. Hey! What the fuck are you doing? I trust this character. Wait!
No shoots. Say that. Look at my health. Do you think it would have been better if Nirvana had never gotten famous? Oh man, these are some interesting hypotheticals that I think have absolutely no merit in so many ways because I don't think they would have been what they were had they not gotten that famous. The music might have been different. Um, so yeah, I guess to answer your question, it would have been different, but I don't, I don't really know how could you quantify something like that. I wonder if hair metal would still be around though. <laughs> I wonder if the cock rock of the 80s would have existed as long as it did. I wonder how many bands, because when Nirvana hit, Pearl Jam and Alice in Chains were hitting a little bit too. And I wonder if, um... All the record labels would have, like, done what they did, which is to say they scooped up every band. A bu any bunch of kids that wore, like, flannel, ripped t-shirts, and had long hair, they just signed them. Just whoever it was, didn't matter. And uh, Alice in Chains was actually glam rock. They were glam rock before they became grunge. So they changed their style quite a bit. Someone said, what do you think of the Earthling album by David Bowie? I think Earthling is okay. Listen to Outside, if you're listening to 90s Bowie. Outside's a little bit better. Earthling has a couple of decent songs, but you're, you're not listening to Prime Bowie. Stick with 70s Bowie, if you really want the good stuff. But, yeah, I mean, I wonder. I wonder what music would be like. It's a very interesting question. I mean, if they never got famous or if they just never existed, maybe another band. Maybe it would be Pearl Jam that led the way. Maybe some other band. Maybe Hootie and the Blowfish would have become, like, ten times bigger. Well, what song did they have? I don't want to be with you! Is that Hootie and the Blowfish? I mean, hell, he streams for us, Hootie. I should know these things. Kurt would still be alive. Uh, maybe. Fame is a bitch. Reading about how he was unable to deal with it. Sad, man. It's really fucking sad. It's not a good story. I mean, if he never got famous, he never would have met Courtney Love. Who knows that how that would have affected the later years of his life? Would it have improved them? The fuck was that? It's a jump scare. Yeah, Elliot Smith is still really tough to listen to. I love his music, but that's a dude. Listen to the- listen to Elliot Smith.
What is it about people with the last name of Love? I think Courtney Love is Mike Love's illegitimate daughter. Or rather, real daughter. What do you think? Just want you to die. It's cool. <laughs> Fuck. Stop that. I never knew hands were... <laughs> I never knew hands were that dangerous. I didn't read the lore? Oh, shit. Alright, well, we're gonna get a second chance to read the lore, so don't worry. I'm gonna guess the lore says shit like, You will die, I want you to die. Blood. For the blood god. Death. Death and blood and hands. What do you think? Do you like this? You don't know anything. If you just could understand. I never wanted this. I just want you to die. Oh, if only I had that cane from Link to the Past, I could get through this section with a lot less damage. Clearly... Alright, so one thing I did wrong was I used all of my stamina. And this game does not want you to have stamina. Gonna keep a needle out. I know, it's a cool noise, I know. Even if there aren't hands, you still take damage. I don't know, I'm kind of torn on this game at the moment. What was that? Hallucinations? Am I going insane? Shit. How come this isn't voice acted? Right, maybe- okay, maybe I need a gas mask. But yeah, so far I'm torn. On one hand, I like the atmosphere, I like the... the uh, some of the music is great, like this one. There's a couple of other cool moments. 
it's impressive as fuck for a gold source game. And, uh... I can, I, you know, I can get into it a little bit. On the other hand, some of it's kind of annoying. Um, forced damage segment wasn't my favorite. And there's also a lot of limitations that are just inherent of such an old engine. But, I mean, I don't hate it. Definitely not. You know, I want it to continue getting good. But I think it's good Spooptober. It's like a really solid Half-Life mod for Halloween. Pros, it's a gold source game. Cons, it's a gold source game. Yeah. Hanson Square. Also, the reason I'm only doing this tonight is because I want to make some decent progress. Because... Mario Odyssey. And I'd preferably not like to be streaming any horror-related stuff come November. I wanted this to be a really good Spooptober. With a lot of, um... With <laughs> a lot of horror games, what is this? I like this. Add two to the score, because this is what's up. Oh. Well, I guess I'll have to go to a hospital on Guerrero Street to get that fixed. I know you just want to know what time it is. I know you see the cell phone and you want to see what time it is, but I, I can't help you. Have you found a store that's selling Odyssey early yet? I have a couple of leads. There's like... two places that I know of that might have it early on Thursday. Oh, I have, uh, kind of badish news, which is that my previous, my Sunday stream yesterday, uh, kind of fucked up. Like, the YouTube, the YouTube version of it is, is, is damaged. And Vappy can't download the Twitch version because it's muted in a, a bunch of spots. So, I have to upload an 8 gigabyte video file so Vappy can cut it up and then upload it to full sauce. Which again speaks for the amount of work that Vappy does on a fucking daily basis. So my plan is um oh god, you're, you're powered up. My plan is, um, tonight, I'm gonna leave the computer on while I'm asleep. And I'm going to get that file to Vappy, because I tried to upload it before, and it took, like... It, it said, hour and a half. And then it got to 66%, and then it said two hours left. So the upload speed just kept decreasing, and decreasing, and decreasing. Are you allowed to stream Odyssey early? Probably not, but I think Thursday should be okay because a number of streamers are going to get their copies early. Basically, whenever the, um, whenever the... the review embargo is lifted, I should be able to stream it. No, no, it wasn't, it wasn't Vine Ryzen that was throttling me. I think it was just Mega.
I've never had a problem with Mega before. The review embargo lifts 6 a.m. What what day on uh what day? It's poor bastard. Are you talking about like Thursday? Because they're doing midnight releases for a number of, um, places. For Odyssey. Like, Nintendo World is doing a midnight release. There's a truck that's doing a midnight release. So, of course, people are gonna be streaming it... ...at midnight. Use a shared Dropbox account? Okay, I'll consider that. 6 a.m. PST on the 26th. Okay, cool. So, if, yeah, I'm only looking... I'm, on, I'm really only looking to play it Thursday. Holy shit. Please. These motherfuckers are powerful. Oh, the Animal Crossing Direct. It's just Animal Crossing Mobile. I'm not gonna be covering it. I'll watch it, we'll talk about it later, but I'm not gonna cover it. I just really wanted Animal Crossing Switch. But, whatever they do, I'm sure I'll end up playing it. I'm getting bored of it. What? Really, I couldn't jump over this. Oh, that's silly. Gonna have to shill out 50 bucks for a random chance at an ultra rare virtual scoot card. Yeah. They call them scoot crates.
Sounds like shotgun shells. Just glitched shotgun shells. Tap, tap. What the fuck is fast? Oh, come on. I, I made a fucking wrong turn. I'm getting crucified for it. insta death someone in chat saying that that's how chainsaws usually work. You don't survive getting slashed by one. I've got strong bones. I drank milk most of my life. You understand? I could survive one chainsaw strike. A singular, a singular strike! Yeah, Ethan survived. Ethan from Resident Evil 7, he could survive. Chainsaw. about attacking those from a distance. <laughs> you missed the AR-15? I mean, I can't get that now, right? So what, I'd have to go into the room that the chainsaw guy was in? Shit. You get it later? Okay. I missed an RPG. That's cool. What else did I miss? Did I miss a Tesla coil? Perhaps a railgun? Tactical nuke? Ha! Uh huh! huh. Hilarious. That's a hilarious amount of weapons that I missed, chat. It's almost like you got your sense of humor from watching me.
<laughs> I like that. When I saw that, my brain was like, LEAPING LIZARDS! But my voice was like, I like that. They even sound somewhat like frogs. It's been a while since I saved. You know what that means. I gotta do the, the run fast boy again. So, huh, uh, uh, how exactly do I not get killed while also getting the gun? I guess like this? Oh. I went the wrong way. Place your bets. How many more times do we see this cutscene? Too fast, I can't kite him around. If you walk in and don't sprint, he can't hurt you. Oh, you're right. Cool loophole. just have to walk. But the chainsaw, some say the chainsaw is, is chainsaw is still revving to this day. Oh, I meant to uh there there are some things that I I well, that I don't talk about on stream because it's just too weird. But I'm gonna tell you one. I'm gonna tell you one of them. I had a streaming dream. Not the first time. But I had a dream that I was playing a game or something, and I was streaming it. And I was tossing and turning for a good chunk of the night. Pretty sure I was talking in my sleep too. 
Can you see the VOD? You want to see the VOD of the dream? Yeah, I'll get that to you. I'll get it to Vappy. Good reflexes there, you see? Do you remember any chat member? I don't, well, I don't remember anything aside from the fact that I was streaming, but I would wake up briefly, toss and turn, and my brain would still think I was streaming. Any new dream subscribers? Well, my dream subscriber, of course, would be Probably Dave Grohl. He seems pretty cool. I think he would be cool if he subbed. Um, another dream subscriber, David Byrne from The Talking Heads, though I don't really think he likes video games. How do you know you're not asleep right now? Don't you start that shit. Not a very good dream, though. I wouldn't recommend it. Vinny, you're in a coma. What? No. How long has... How long have I been... Alright, I forgot about that. How long have I been in a coma for? Seven years. Exactly seven. Huh. So what's in 2010? What am I gonna wake up to? I wake up from 2010. I was still playing- we jumped from Wii to Switch. Someone's gonna explain that there was a system in between, and I'll be like, oh, what was it called? Uh, the Wii U? What? Really? The Wii U? Why are we on the Switch now? How come we're not still playing Wii U games? Well... It's a long story. Dude was my downfall last time. I keep wow, I'm really good at going backwards. That's my main skill. If this was um D and D, my character would have that like a passive for glitches. And is really good at going backwards. Oh, you know what? That might not have been backwards. That might have been just a similarly styled room. It might have just been like a copy-paste job. You need to wake the windfish. Yeah, but one thing I don't understand is... What or what or whales? This is unlike water frogs, but what are whales? Whales are mammals. Right? The windfish was a whale.
It's another gun that I find kind of ugly. The M16. I like the carbine in, uh... Counter-Strike, but just this design, I never found all that appealing. So... So far, I have to say, the, the guns that are available in Cry of Fear... Kinda fucking ugly. Let's see, does the shotgun look alright? It's really plain. What's the sexiest gun, in your opinion? Uh, while well, my opinion counts for nothing, but... I think I like, uh... I like the MP5. I can't really even say that. Uh, UMP's kinda nice looking. Desert Eagle. I've always liked the look of the Desert Eagle. What What's the replacement for the MP5 in Counter-Strike? What's the name of that one? That I like a little bit better. That's the MP7. Yeah, the MP7's cool. The MP52 Desert, please. Please. But, I mean, those are modern guns. My favorites, of course, are like... ...fucking... ...carbines from World War II. And, um... ...bolt action. I mean, if you were here... <laughs> ...at my streams last year, I, I went on a little bit of a... ...on a World War II... ...um, interest spree. Where I would watch documentaries and... ...talk about my favorite guns from that era. So I'm, I'm a big fan of, like, Mausers and stuff like that. Of course, the Garand is amazing. In terms of modern rifles, uh, I can't really say what I like. What's the name of the T-equivalent of the FAMAS in Counter-Strike? I'm really bad with names, but... The Galil. That one looked kind of cool. What the hell's going on? More Resident Evil puzzles. Don't real. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Um. Uh, okay. Potato launcher guns are best guns, really. Yeah, no, I don't I don't have this puzzle. I don't I don't know what the hell's going on here. You have to check the map by the save for clues. Alright, good. That's a good good hint. You can give it away. That's the map? Hmm. Where, where's the clue on this map? This high-resolution, high-detail map? Oh, jeez. Okay, 
there's more switches. I can see. I can see. Oh, you have to press the map. Gustav Dahl Park. Silently she flew, quiet as a whisper in the dark. She came upon a river and headed south. King of all the birds flew higher than the owl, gloating as he went. Four-legged carnivore sneaked side by side, his prey ready to strike whenever a movement was made. The equestrian beast didn't want her sleep to come, so she fled to the west, uncalm. South. The horse. Um. That's a cool fucking noise. Thanks, Cry of Fear. I really appreciate that noise. Piece of paper. Owl. South. Um, burb. North. Horse. West. Um, I'll just put carnivore. Carnivore. East. So for those that don't have tinnitus, now you know what it's like. Okay, but here's the thing that's fucking killing me about this. The switches. Now I have to find those, because they're not near the things that they represent. Okay, now this one is. Owl South. I think that's South, right? I guess that's the north of the park, right? So... I don't fucking know, really, I mean... Okay, no, at least this isn't so bad. Horse goes weast. Horse is already weast. I hope this is the right thing to do here. South. No, I have to... Put it in the, in the, in the middle. Alright, so... Middle, then west. Okay, horse is west. Um, this motherfucker is north. And one more. Lion goes same as horse. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. I I misread that. Side by side with his prey. I don't know why I just automatically wrote opposite down, which is not the answer. So now... Yeah. That's nice and disorienting. Um, so yeah, now I have to get the, um... The lion. There we go. I wonder if Lucas set up all these puzzles. Lucas definitely had something to do with this. Inventory is full. Sniper rifle. Inventory is full. I'm sorry, do you want to have health or guns? Jerk. Where's the dude that said I was going to hate the inventory management earlier? You were right. 
You were right. Vinny, you missed your brand new Carl. What? Pilkington? Kinda like the hunting rifle. Yes, that noise! Thank you for that lovely noise. We give thanks to this bountiful noise. Oh, I've got a shit now. I think it's the brown note. Yes, please. Can I have more of this noise? I'm gonna come back and get the Glock in a bit. So happy I spent all that time getting the um, AR just to abandon it. That's really cool. Very cool! I mean, at least give me a backpack upgrade. Now I have to find this godforsaken gate. Find the fucking gate already. Please. I wonder how far back I'm gonna have to, um... No, there's no gate here. <coughs> gate is by the save point. Okay. I thought it was a backtrack thing. Again, really impressive for the gold source engine. Oh, there it is. I don't know how I missed that. It's like my mantra while playing this game. I don't know how I missed that. Every 20 minutes, that, that is a phrase that you will hear during the stream of this. I have to leave this area before the fucking tone comes back. Thousands of people are going to shit their pants at the same time. Okay, goodbye, AR. People were saying I was going to need the sniper rifle later on. <laughs> or like right here. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. It's a dude on an upside down bed. My favorite enemy in video games. Dude on upside down bed.
hope I didn't miss anything. Probably missed something. Oh, he's just dancing. He just practicing his routine. He doing thriller. <laughs> A phone call. this town. voice sounded like someone very familiar. I can't put my finger on it. Oh, I know, I know who it was. Daksu. Such a magnificent creature. I believe it was her. Motherfuckers. There's a lot of them. Like that? <laughs> you can turn- you can get rid of the sound of a gun. This is real life physics. This is proven. If you just dash backwards. Because you're moving backwards, the sound of the gun also goes backwards. And back into the gun. This is a very, um, little-known fact. So when the sound goes back into the gun, it muffles it completely. All the money people spend on silencers. And to think. And to think. Is this better? Too flimsy to be used as a weapon. X marks the spot. And there's lots of X's. Oh, Jesus. I have to look for, like... I hope there's some indication. There is some indication. That looks like a good syringe. Yeah. Definitely want to inject yourself with that syringe, the one that was buried in Homeless Park. M16. Oh, that's a shame. Thank you. 
not entirely sure if there's a reason for this. The music is swelling. Very much like my enlarged groin at the moment because of the game. There needs to be a warning. May cause enlarged groin. Like, do I even need to go digging? Vinny, stop having spooky erections. That's too much. I didn't say it was erections. I'm just saying it was like... It's just massive. It's just like, a, like an amorphous blob. I think it's a, an allergic reaction to this game. It's like that dude who injected himself with saline for years, and then he had just a blob. It's just like a blob. Don't worry about that. That's- we- we don't talk about that on the stream. Just pretend you never heard that, okay? Vinny, have you ever won any arguments in your lifetime? Stealthy, you ask some of the weirdest questions. Um... I guess, I'm sure I have, I don't- I can't really think of that. I, I guess, um... Yeah. Maybe a couple, here and there. <laughs> I don't- I don't really know. I don't really know how to answer that. Yeah, no, a stealthy goes deep. I've seen some really, like, personal questions... ...from stealthy. I mean, I'm not upset, I'm just not gonna answer them. The, the thing is, though... ...have I won any arguments? Yeah. Probably several. Took me a minute to realize. Isn't it satisfying winning an argument? I mean, I guess so. It depends on what you're arguing. If it's a really important thing, then sure, but if it's just internet arguments about... I don't know, nothing. It's just a lot of life force and energy that's expelled. Gone. Eaten. ...by the reptilians. We don't need... Whoa. We don't- we don't need Glock sounds anymore. Do the sound effects yourself, but if I did, it would be like a second later because of the delay on my, um, on my microphone. So it'd be like this. Pew. Not so good, right? Do it earlier? Oh shit. Um, my baton is- is now missing.
Chad, I'm really upset. I think I lost my baton. I no longer have a melee weapon. I walked over it. You see that shit? Left of map. Oh, that oh, it was really fucking small. So chat, Vinny, you know when you did your pew, that was the funniest moment for no reason in this entire stream. <laughs> okay. Glad to hear it. Um, chat, how long... Okay, how far through this game would you say I am? 20%, 40, 50... About a third. I missed an item downstairs. fucking hold any more items. I missed an item downstairs. There's a weird floor texture. Oh, god damn it. I was waiting for the fucking RPG. I thought that was it. I was convinced. Again, this looks awesome. I, it's like a really simple trick, but... It just looks cool. Also, is that a pyramid? <laughs> is that the fucking Luxor in Vegas? For, again... Even if it wasn't just a Half-Life 1 mod, it's a really nice atmospheric looking game. It's an excellent skybox. I broke the gun. That would be nice if I had an M16. Yeah, that would be really... That'd be really cool if I had an M16. None of my guns make noises anymore. Excellent. I am now the stealthiest of the stealth. I'm stealthier than that dude in chat. 
I, I don't understand this enemy. Just, I really just don't understand what a floating bed is doing in a horror game. <laughs> come on, come on. Whatever, man. Ha! <laughs> Move all! Plot. Sophie? What the hell are you doing here? Oh, hi, Simon. Acting. What? I don't... I don't understand anything now. What is it that you don't understand? What do you think? The whole fucking city is crawling with... monsters and... I just... Do you think they're gonna toss a football? And suddenly you just... They're on the roof. On these rooftops? What are you doing here? Are you hurt? Oh, monsters? Simon, you're scaring me. Scaring? Oh, what the fuck? This is just sick. <laughs> well, I... maybe it's just... <laughs> Let's talk about something else. This really is like written by Tommy Wiseau. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm just... Confused. You? Not too bad, thank you. Better now that you're here. Yeah. I'm... I'm glad you're here too, Sophie. I've been alone all this time. I see. Sounds tough. But what about yourself? Why are you here? Are you hiding up here from those... Things? No, I really don't understand what you're talking about. I'm just uh, thinking. Thinking? Yeah, I've been doing a lot of that too. Do you remember how you got here? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, because I woke up myself, but it wasn't an alley and... Wait, I can probably show uh -oh. you. <laughs> no, hush Simon. Can't we just sit here for a while? Oh. Yeah. <coughs> sure. Do you want to know something? Yes. Yes, I, I want do. To tell me a thing. I want to know just what in the fuck is going on here. Sophie knows. Is it about that doctor guy? Uh, in the gas mask? Doctor? Simon, please. No, I mean about school. Oh. Yeah? What? Well, I don't know if you knew, but I always had a hard time at school. You were... Well, you were pretty much the only guy who was kind to me. Is this supposed to be music? I never said it, but I really want to thank you for making my life a little bit more bearable. You're a cute guy, Simon. I knew, but how's yeah. your sex life? Yeah, you did have it pretty rough. Thank you. Yeah. There's supposed to be music. It's glitched. I guess I helped you because I liked you. You were one of the prettiest girls at school and... I, you know, I just... I guess I wanted to protect you. I don't love you, but I think I could if we got to know each other better. You're so beautiful, Sophie. Why haven't you said anything? I never had the courage. I, I mean, I wasn't exactly the toughest kid in school, was I? 
But now we're here alone. I got, I I got music. Hang on, I got fixed it. I fixed it. Stronger. I've always liked you, Sophie. Oh, Simon, I don't know what to say. I always liked you too, but not in that way. I always thought that you were just a friend, nothing more. I'm sorry. Oh. Mm. But... Damn, so much stuff has happened lately. All this craziness, the darkness and, and the monsters. I think I'm going crazy. I'm so glad I found you. I know. A lot of things have been going on lately. Yeah, really. Was it you who tried to phone me, by the way? How did she not yeah, get killed by I flying beds? To, you, to get away from it all. Oh, but, but what? Out here? No, away from everything. Away from all this. What? What do you mean? You know full well what I mean. Wait a sec, you, you mean all the... No! No, oh, see ya, okay. No, no, no! It's probably a lot less impactful without the music. Sophie. Why did she... What the fuck? This... This isn't making any sense! It's okay, there's a bed monster to carry her to freedom. Oh no! No, it's just... It's just, it's just hair flesh! It's just hot maloon chair flesh! Why? Here on this tropical hot Why? dog night! You sick fuck! Wait, 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 I'm not ready. I'm not fucking ready. I need a save point, so I don't... Do you want to escape? What the fuck kind of option is this? What do you mean, do I want to escape? Well, I'm not getting the option anymore. sound effect. I need to get to a save point so I can restart the game and get some fucking correct music and sound effects. Sounds like scoot noises. <laughs> it does. My character grunts a little bit when I shoot. He goes, ugh. Okay. The thing with the face chains is now dead. Please restart game ASAP. Well, I have to save first, otherwise we have to sit through that entire cutscene again. And I don't know how much more, like, music would have improved the cutscene. Are you going to play through the multiplayer? 
Uh, we considered it. I'm, I'm probably leaning towards no at this moment. Oh, now what? I'm on the roof. Uh, Roy Batty's not up here. No moments will be lost like tears in rain. Jump down. That's it. That's it. Seems like a smart idea. Down here, that's not so bad. Oh, there's the body. Okay. I like this game. You can't move your body preble. No longer tied down. Okay, I'm going to need to know the the skip cutscene button if it exists. That was a real, uh, that was a real cool moment. I fell, like, an extra three feet further than I should have. Just press enter. Okay. Let's go through this again. At least we got music. Oh, yeah! Yeah! Oh, we got sound effects back. I really miss... I really miss the AR. <laughs> escape this time to save ammo. What even was escape? Red creatures. Escape is the bad end. It's it's one of the bad endings. Oh, like I escape life. Oh, I see. Synthesizer. I don't think headshots mean a damn thing. Picked up. I should have just got rid of the Glock. Fuck. He's throwing baby heads. 
heads at me. The bab heads are headed my way. Really didn't use that shit right now. Uh, all right, we'll do this again. Uh, I'll waste as much ammo as I need to to finish this. I have to kill Scoot's carcass. Alright, great. G great. So now I have to get back down and hopefully not completely fuck this up. Which could be very easily done. This is not the way. This is definitely not the way. There's a ladder going up. that one. Okay. Save. Good. Yes. For only Duxu, Dakus can truly perceive reality. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. I'm at the moment in my life now, where I believe that to be true more than anything. <sighs> Dakusus. Sophie. Simon, let me go. I love you. I love you, Sophie. I have to leave. Please. I fucking love Just you. Just let me go, Simon. God. What's that? You want to grab the thing? Nope, your inventory's full! Can't put a credit card in my pocket. I love you, Sophie. I... I... Drunk... I wasted... And I love you! You know, guns have melee. Maybe I should just get rid of the nightstick. Guns have weak melee. Drop the rifle. Oh, fuck, I don't know. I mean, let, let's see, what do I have ammo for? I have some shotgun shells. I have... Five rifle. Use the key and get the stick back. I don't know where to use the key. I want to hit one more save point and then just never look at this again until next time I stream it.
It's locked. Well, obviously, this this card. It, no. I'm gonna say, fuck the melee. At this point in the game, I'm gonna regret that. But for now, that's how I feel. Six inventory slots. Get out of here. That person was so fucking right earlier. They were so right. They knew I was gonna complain about this. Lord. Can you go back and get the AR? Vinny, the inventory management in this game is only rivaled in stupidity by Resident Evil Zero. They have guns now. I owned Resident Evil Zero. And I couldn't fucking play through it. It was so frustrating. Do you think the AR is still there, though? Or the- it's an M16, it's an M16. It is kind of a backtrack. No, Resident Evil Zero was a good game. It's just, it was annoying. It's very limiting, very annoying. It's blocked, you can't get it. Path is blocked now. Alright. Well, that's, uh, that's Cry of Fear, part one. Electric Boogaloo. I made some mistakes. The game made some mistakes. We'll finish this. Nice head. <laughs> Oh man, I'm gonna need some Tums tonight. Alright. Yeah, he didn't mouse one fast enough. Okay, that that's Cry of Fear. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> to whatever extent you could. But we'll, um, we'll come back to it soon, I guess. I kind of like it. I mean, I like, I kind of like making fun of it when it's shitty, but there's some genuinely good moments and it's, it's fun to, uh, it's fun to play with an audience. So even if it's kind of shit and I'm kind of shit at it, it's still fun to go through it with an audience watching. So yeah, you know, I'm not crying over it. I'm not all that afraid, but it's decent. All right, Art, give me a second and we will get started. Sorry about that, I'm back. 
One page of art tonight. All right, here we go. People who were not here yesterday are going to be very confused. From Fringle, Swole, like I said, very confused. From Minty Fresh, insert game here, Memetopia with Vinny. From Eat Pant. <laughs> That's the famous Bart Simpson quote, if you didn't know. Consume my sh my shorts. But uh, here it is, just in case you were unaware of the famous catchphrase from Bort Sim Sompson. So this one's from Eat Pant. Um, are your super mushrooms not saucy enough? Then you need vine sauce. Just sploosh some sauce on it and make it saucier than ever. I wouldn't risk it. It looks like a dick. Yeah, it kind of does. Why'd you make it veiny? Ugh. From Lemon Line, here's Thad. It says, I add him some pants for no reason because I'm too tired to draw underwears with bulges. What the fuck? Kind of sentence. Well, I mean, there's a reason. It's because you didn't want to draw bulges. From Panky, this appears to be Waluigi, but the Cuphead version of Waluigi. <laughs> From Indie Film Productions, Vin and Rissa crossover stream starting soon. That's pretty cool. I really like that. I will be sure to use this. I don't know when we're going to resume Sonic, but I mean, you know, Patience is always a virtue. From Push Hardly, here's a beautiful pixel art version of our favorite internet connection goblin, Vine Ryzen. <clears throat> Vinny, did you hear that the Smash con GameCube controller adapter is now relative uh, natively compatible with Switch? Yeah, I heard about that. I don't know why, but I guess it's cool for the future. From CGA... Here's Thad. I like this pixel style. From Bun Time, it's like almost like a, a. Can I say chibi? Can I get away with saying that version of me? And kind of reminds me of Stardew Valley for some reason. I don't know why. But looks cool. This one's from Bart, Eat Pant. This one's also from Bart, Eat Pant. This one's from Bart, Eat Pant. This one's from Bart, Eat Pant. This one's also from Bart, Eat Pant. This one's from Bart, Eat Pant. This one's also from Bart Eat Pant. From Pajama Pants Jack, here's Tommy. Vampire Tommy. The look of a vampire. The look of the vampire. The, the thrill of the vampire. Could be the movie that Tommy could write next. From Erkin. Here's um, a 3D animation. Well, it's just a 3D Luigi. It's based on Metal Gear Solid 5. It's good. From Sammy. Here's a Vlinny. From Bar Bar Button, here's a duck sauce will be RB. From Sticky Stuff, Gorgon Proman. Nice line art. Is that, is that saying it correctly? Line art? Well, I like your shading um, being lines. So, 
from Cumbervana. Just cling on. It's called cross hatching. That's cool. That was good. Uh, this one. That's good. That's good. This one's from Lizaroro and it is a spoop shroom. That is a very haunted spoop shroom. I like it. Really great, Lizararo. Good stuff. From Sweenix. Spooktober will begin soon. Viewer, beware. Love it. I'll be using that. This one is from Canary Sunrise. The return of Vine AM now with 100% more spoops. Suck juice. Yeah, we had a little return yesterday from Elena D. Here's a little vine shroom town in the sky. Kind of reminds me of Donkey Kong Country a little bit. It's cool. Um, Primal Screen Guy made this one. Spooperang will start soon. Primal Screen's making a lot of this cool stuff. Let's see. Next is one from Titty Fat. Oh my. Jesus. I mean, you talk about horror shrooms. There's like a vine swole from another fucking Lovecraftian dimension. Yeah, it looks good. This one's from San Ram Sam Ram One Up Boys. <laughs> Oh my god, Sam, this is this is also great. There's an animated thing over here. I guess the one up boys is based on the um the song from Mario Odyssey. There's a song with lyrics which some people would be not so great about because it brings back memories of Sonic. That's also great. I mean, Jesus Christ, you guys are making some awesome art. From Vlinny. Here's a cry of fear art. And uh, I think that's it. That's good stuff. All of this art is good. I'm going to leave you with this one. Um, just because it's it's really cool and Mario Odyssey hype, but thank you so much, everyone. This is great. Great art. Um, yeah, I'll catch you guys soon. I'm going to be tomorrow. I'm going to be going to the Queens of the Stone Age concert, and then um, I'm probably not going to want to stream after that because I'm going to be taking public transportation, so that's going to be fun, but I'll probably uh, try to stream after lunch tomorrow, meaning we'll get uh, a little stream in before I go. So maybe some hat and time. And then if I finish that early, a little something else. So that's my, um, that's my theory of what's going to happen tomorrow. I need some sleep. So I'm going to go do that. I'm going to return to nothing. And hopefully I won't dream of streaming. I won't dream of glitches and I won't dream of cry of fear and getting lost in the same looking hallways over and over and over again. Uh, I hope you all have a good night. Remember, life is short. Don't be too hard on yourself unless you're an asshole, in which case, you know, a little self analyzation is good. It, it never hurts to be a little wrong sometimes. And that's why you should eat pant. Check out the other Vine Sauce streamers at twitch.tv slash team slash Vine Sauce if the erection lasts more than 36 hours. You should continue taking vine sauce to continue the enlarged groin area. Vinesauce.com for all your 
health and safety information. And then, of course, you can uh, go to at Vine Sauce on Twitter and make sure that you follow all the streamers, myself included, by just following at Vine Sauce. And there's also a Vine Sauce alert system for Chrome. If you use Chrome and you want to get alerts and you want to hear a little noise whenever I go live or any of the Vine Sauce streamers go live, go to bit.ly slash Vine Sauce alert. Norix made it. Norix is amazing. And um, I appreciate all of the help I have here on the site. It can be a lot of work. And it can be a lot of behind the scenes and it can be a lot of, you know, it just can be a lot. So I appreciate what the mods do and what the other streamers do. And, um, you know, thanks for the help and thanks for making my life not so difficult at times. And for all the viewers, thank you for the same reason. Even if you do have a bit of a viewer streamer superiority complex happening when I play games like this, it's not like you're wrong. What's the quote? You're not wrong. You're just an asshole. <laughs> no, you guys are fine. I hope you enjoyed watching me suffer through Cry of Fear as much as I enjoyed suffering through it. Get yourselves some good sleep if it's that time, and I'll see you with more Spooptober soon. Good night.